hello friends in this video i will tell you very fundamental things that you must know and watch before going to attempt any mechanical engineering related interview competitive exam or i will say the basics that you should know so here is the question that might appear which is having the least flash point petrol gasoline or diesel so let me tell you petrol and gasoline are one and same and second thing why so let me tell you first that flash point of a volatile material is the lowest temperature at which the vapors of that material will ignite but provided an ignition source so let me brief you that how and which fuel has the lowest flash point so petrol is a fuel that is used in spark ignition so it requires an ignition source petrol and uh, this fuel is mixed with air within its flammable limits and heated above its flash point and then ignited by the spark plug to ignite the fuel that is in this case is gasoline we must have low flash point minus 43 degrees celsius but in order to avoid the pre-ignition caused by the residual heat in a hot combustion chamber the fuel must have high auto ignition temperature so i can clearly tell you that obviously the petrol will have a low uh, flash point temperature but at the same time it is having a high auto ignition temperature similarly diesel fuel flash point varies from 52 to 96 degrees celsius and we all know that diesel does not require a source of ignition so diesel is suitable for use uh, for use in a compression ignition engine air is compressed and it is hot and it is it has been already heated above the auto ignition temperature of the fuel which is then subjected to a high pressure spray keeping the air fuel mix within the flammable limits in a diesel fuel engine as i already mentioned there is no ignition source so consequently what happens is that diesel fuel must have high flash point and the low auto ignition temperature so it goes vice versa like if suppose petrol has high auto ignition temperature definitely the flash point will be low or else in case of diesel the high flash point is there therefore the low auto ignition temperature will be there so you can remember by this way question might be asked in your exams in your competitions that uh, out of the two fuels which fuel is having high auto ignition temperature or low auto ignition temperature and why or on what factors it depends so you can directly say that flash point is dependent on auto ignition and vice versa now moving next i i have provided you with the comparison i have provided you with the comparison of um, both the fuels based on various parameters you can take a look here also uh, the red marked values show that they are more as compared with the black uh, black written values moving ahead most of my students they ask me this question that what will happen if suppose instead of inserting petrol in a petrol engine what will happen if i put diesel or if suppose i have a i have a say diesel engine what will happen if i put petrol as a fuel in that so if if in a diesel engine you put petrol or if in a petrol engine you put diesel let me tell you what will happen so when you put diesel in petrol engine diesel in a petrol engine will not cause firing 
since diesel is less volatile and will not mix with the air properly and therefore a good air fuel mixture will not be prepared i will say by using the carburetor okay and uh, there is no other direct injection technology as well so a poor quality mixture will be there and you you will be applying spark to it but it will not burn properly so ultimately it will not cause firing that can be the best answer and uh, in the other case if like you put petrol in a diesel engine so you are like spraying volatile fuel into a combustion chamber of highly compressed and hot air and that will cause detonation that will not let your engine run smooth as so a smooth combustion will not be there and a very important property that you have to take into account is that diesel is also a very good lubricant that property is missing when you put petrol inside the diesel engine which will cause more wear and tear of all the parts because petrol do not have that property or to act as lubricant uh, you can take a look at the answers so meanwhile if my students ask me this question so i generally give me i generally give them this answer <clears throat> so finally this is my answer to uh, this type of question that i already told you can appear in exams and uh, please share these videos hope you like this one as well you like the earlier ones and thank you for watching please subscribe